set up the tripod with an attached GPS antenna in a location with a clear view of the sky. Get the radio antenna pole as high as possible so the base station is able to transmit the signal over a greater range. Maintaining a clear line of sight between the base station antenna and the V-box antenna situated on the vehicle's roof ensures consistent signal reception. Connect the telemetry radio and DGPS antenna to the chassis connectors on the base station, making sure the radio is connected to the radio port and the antenna is connected to the GPS port. Power up the base station using the on-off switch and wait for the system to initialize. In the base station's setup menu, go to Set DGPS Mode and select the relevant mode. In this example, we will be using RTCM V3. Then select the correct radio mode. We are using Sartel radios, so we'll select Sartel from the menu. In order to obtain a secure DGPS reference position, we suggest averaging the base station's location over a 24-hour period. To do this, scroll through the menu to Set to Average and select the 24-hour option. After the countdown has finished, the display will show Location Set OK. If you do not have the opportunity to wait 24 hours before use, you can use the system's current DGPS position by choosing Set to Current. To show the base station is receiving satellite signals, the green LED on the side of the base station will flash, whilst the red LED will light up once per second to show its transmitting correction messages. The LEDs on the Sartel radio will flash in sequence to show the messages being received. When using a VBOX 3i, the DIFF LED will also light up green. You can also monitor your RTK connection in real time using a laptop or tablet PC connected directly to the VBOX.